Hey folks, it's Josh, Journey Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today's gonna be pretty fun. We're gonna be installing more solar lights. And I know what you're thinking. Do you really need more solar lights on the farm? Well, yes we do. So we have a little bit of a predator problem down at the chicken coop. Something's been digging and scratching around and trying to get in the chicken coop at night. I've got some pretty heavy duty wire on there, but I want to deter those predators from coming. And what deters a predator more than being discovered, okay? So we're gonna be installing these 100, whoop, LED light fixtures on the outside of the chicken coop. They're all solar panel, self-contained, very, very simple design. They have 100 LED lights, and we'll go into more detail about what they do and how they do. But the first thing we gotta do is we're gonna set them out here in the sunlight and let them charge for about five hours. Guys, we'll see you in just a minute. We'll install these new solar lights. All right? Woo! Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. So folks, the first thing you need to know is this thing comes with a little pin. This little pin, I guess they call it the key. The instruction manual, which I'm not really good about reading, tells you what you have to do with this pin. So first thing you do is unbag it and it has a protective layer here. You peel that protective layer off of that solar panel. Look how pretty that solar panel is. And then there's a little power switch right in there. And you take your little pin, you stick it in there, and you push the power button. And it clicks and it's on. Pretty cool. Now, what I've learned is it has two positions. It's an up position that sticks out a little more and a down position. Down is on. It needs to be on in order to receive a charge. And we're gonna sit them in the bright sunlight right here, right in the driveway, right where it's gonna get plenty of sunlight, okay? And we're gonna let them charge for, I don't know, two, three hours. The thing says five hours, should get about four or five hours of direct sunlight, but we'll see. I hope this will be the solution to keep the critters away from our garden and away from our chicken coop. Now our chicken coop is right beside our garden down there so we can use the manure on the garden. We'll see. This company sent me a huge, huge discount code for this thing. It's like 50% off. So guys, if you're interested in getting a solar light, if you're ever thinking about getting one of these for outside your house or for an area that doesn't have electricity, like your barn or something like that, this is the time to get it. 50% off of this thing, and it was pretty cheap to start with. So some of the specs on it, it says it's 2,000 lumens, 4.8 watts, and it's about 10 inches by seven inches. Fairly small, fits right on my t-shirt and covers up that keeping it Dutch shirt right there. Just a little shout out for my buddy Dutch. So we've got five or six of these things all over the farm. We've got them on our farm gate, we've got them on the house, we've got them all over in places that we don't wanna run wires for light, and they're just handy and it's half off. So the deal was with the company, I said, you can send me these lights, but you've got to pass on some sort of savings to my subscribers so they knock 50% off. That's all I have for you. Now, something I've learned about being a YouTuber for the past two years here is that people don't like brand placement. They don't like product placement. They don't like it when you show things like WD-40. They don't like that stuff like WD-40. I don't like to do a lot of product placements in my videos. Part of being a YouTuber sometimes is doing stuff like this and passing on savings to my subscribers. So I hope you appreciate it and don't think it's something stupid. <sighs> By the way, guys, this light will not serve as a substitute for the most sold rifle in America, the Bang. It will not serve as a substitute for that, just so you know. The thought process here is to take this thing as high as I possibly can, but I don't want the eaves to be hanging over top of the solar panel, okay? And I've charged these for about, eh, 30 minutes or so right now, and then they're lighting up just fine, so I'm pretty impressed. I think I'll be very happy with these. All right, so we went up to the barn and we got the ladder. Now you might notice my ladder's a little different than your ladder might be. I have towels wrapped around the end of the ladder right here. And that's so I don't scratch up the paint on the house or scratch up the paint on the building. Just take some towels and duct tape them around there. They'll last you about six or eight months. As long as you keep it dry, they'll last forever. And that way you don't beat up your building. We brought our level and we brought our light. Now we're gonna take our light and mount it up, make sure it's nice and level and pretty close to the center right here, okay? Pretty simple. Just gonna kind of mount it up right there. It's gonna drive me crazy, but I'm gonna do it off center. Take my level, make sure I'm nice and level. Just wanna come down just a hair. Right there. Well, the two-sided tape trick worked pretty good. We've got some self-tapping screws. We'll go ahead and zip two self-tappers in here. 
Now the kit does not come with self-tapping screws. It comes with wood screws or screws where you can mount it into like the siding or something like that. But this right here is good enough for us. Cool. So folks mounting this thing couldn't be any simpler. Basically you just have two screw holes, one screw hole here, one screw hole here. It comes with some hardware and a kit with little tiny screws. I want to use some bigger heavy duty screws because that's just the kind of person I am. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to install this guy. I don't want to install it right here. I was going to put it up high, but I'm afraid that the rainwater dripping off on it constantly will run down in here and cause damage. So we're going to put it right here. Now, you're wondering, are we going to get enough sunlight right here? You get the morning sun right here, it'll be just perfect. So, very, very simple. All I'm going to do is mount it up here. Easily enough, I'm going to put one screw in first, okay, and that'll hold it in place. Once I get that first screw in, then we'll put the level on the top and make sure it's level. I'll show you. Guys, you're going to love my rooster here in a second. He is a movie star. He loves to crow when the camera's on. It's pretty funny. We're going to go ahead and raise this up. And after I put this up, I'll give you a little quick tour of the chicken coop. It's kind of a mess right now, but I'll show you how it's built. Anyhow, we'll put this up here. Slide our level up. Make sure we're right on the money. Okay, hold it in place. And then we'll zip our screw in. Now it's mounted up nice and sturdy. If it doesn't get enough sunlight right here, which I don't see a problem, but if it doesn't get enough sunlight, it's okay. I can always move it. It takes two seconds to move. We're gonna go ahead and put the next one over here on the other side of the coop, I'll show you. So the next one is gonna go right up there, okay? We're gonna put it right on the eaves. All right, so we'll back right up here with the gator and that way we can just hop right up on the gator right here and get the job done. There we go. That simple. That simple to install, guys. Let me walk you around the chicken coop and tell you a little bit about it, in case you want some ideas for your own chicken coop. So we were thinking predators the whole time when we built this coop. This right here is another solar panel. It's got a little dust on the top of it, but these little lights light up on all four corners of the coop, and also they light up the outside of the coop right here too. So these little solar panels and these little lights. This is a eight by eight enclosure. There's about 15 chickens in there. And basically we used heavy duty wire so that nothing could get through it. In the inside we have two bolts and it's a mess in here guys. I just wanna let you know. But in here we have the place where the chickens can roost and we have our nesting boxes and we have our food, which is supported by a chain up in the ceiling. And that's poop. Now the design of the coop is such that I can pull this board straight up and pull my wheelbarrow, which is stored under here, right up underneath it and rake out the poop into the wheelbarrow and take it to the garden. So here on the outside are my nesting boxes. I think there are eight nesting boxes, maybe more. I have a little hook here. We unhook the hook, we raise it up and inside are our little laying boxes, okay? And then we've mounted a light right here, a little push button light. So if we get eggs up in the dark, we've got light. And here's our outside chicken run. You can also see I have lots of lights around here to help deter predators from getting in the chicken coop. And really I haven't had any troubles hardly at all, except for the last little bit. And I'm not so sure that one of the neighbor's critters might be trying to get in there like a dog. That's it. It's a pretty fun little chicken coop. There's an eight by eight outside run for the chickens. We'll open the door and let them run through the garden, and run through the yard sometimes. And we have the laying boxes and we have a four by eight little area for them to hang out and roost. Well, folks, thanks a whole lot for watching the vlog today. I appreciate you. Just want to show you some cool products, show you a cool chicken coop, show you what we've got going on on the farm today. Got small projects going on right now while we wait for our new 30 acres of grass to start sprouting over here and it's starting to sprout. So he's a ham. Guys, be sure you click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and click the little bell down there. It'll notify you when I post a new video. Share this with your friends. If you know anybody that wants some lights like this on the outside of their house for security or somebody would want them on the outside of their barn or their shed, let them know about it. 50% off. Can't beat that. Right across here, I'll have a little scrolling code for you and we'll come back right after dark and show you how good the lights are. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farm. We'll come Woo! on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! All right, guys, so we're going to test out the light. I promised you a good test, and here we are. The light's on the chicken coop right here, and we just block out the little light right here, and boom. The thing is really, really bright. 2,000 lumens, 100 LED lights. Very, very impressive.
Very impressive. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time. No gnats, please. Thank you. You guys know, maybe, yeah, I almost fell down. I really like shiny stuff.